Since the dawn of time, man has wondered how to vlog. And today, these secrets will be revealed. Hi, I'm Aaron Tremell. I'm an assistant instructor and PhD candidate at the Rutgers University School of Communication and Information. And this is basically a set of uh, digital media tutorials that I'm producing right now on how to use various digital media platforms. Today's video is on how to use WordPress, um, specifically walking you through an overview. Um, how do you choose a the theme? What is the header? How do you find make a page? How do you add tags and categories? How do you make a post? Once you have your post up, how do you add videos, uh, images, links, any of that stuff? So I bet you're anxious to get started, so let's go. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how WordPress works. How do you create an account, and then how do you get around? What is the dashboard and what do the various things mean? Here's part one. How do you create an account? So this is WordPress.com. You can see that there's a login area at the top of the screen and a few other blogs like in Skyrim, Obama, Olympics, stuff that's going on in the middle here. Uh, you shouldn't confuse WordPress.com with WordPress.org. Um, WordPress.org is a more complicated blogging platform. It uses the same back end but it offers more functionality and it's open source, meaning that nobody profits off of it. Um, WordPress.com, on the other hand, is a blogging platform that is commercially oriented. Um, they integrate advertisements and it's hosted on their web servers, whereas WordPress.org is not a host in those places. So, anyways, um, I will show you how to sign up now. If you need an account, you go to the Sign Up Now button, you click on it, and you get these options. You can tell it what your blog address is that you want. Uh, you can say like something like uh, new blog. I'm sure it's taken. Uh, yes, yeah, it already exists. New blog nine 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 nine. There we go. Um, and that is available. Uh, then you choose a username that hasn't been taken. I have one, but you know, new user nine 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 nine. Um, does not exist. Choose your password, edit it, and plug in your uh, email address right there. And then, uh, basically, you come down here, and it's going to give you the create blog option. Once you've put all that stuff in, hit create blog, and you will be set to go. Um, now that you've created an account, it's time to see what's going on behind the scenes. So strap into your chair. We're going to check out the dashboard. So once you've logged into WordPress, you're going to come to a menu that looks a lot like this. You have some options up here, new post, reader, notification, stats, my blogs, and freshly pressed. Uh, the area you want to look at is my blogs. This is the area where you can create a blog and navigate all the blogs that you might have going on. So you click on that and here's my blogs. But if we go down to the bottom, create new blog, it will give us this option, and it's the same thing I just showed you a minute ago. So we'll go new blog 99999, and then we can name it uh, the best blog ever. Um, and there's this important privacy option where you can at tell it what sort of privacy settings you want viewable by everyone, viewable by everyone, but block search engines or private language, etc. Um, if you are doing a blog for this class, you probably want it to be viewable for everyone, but you may want to block search engines at first. Anyways, after you're ready, hit create blog and it will take you to your blog's dashboard. Um, the first thing you have to do is set a theme. We'll just stick with the default theme right now, so I'll show you how to get to that from your dashboard. So once you're at your dashboard, you get this whole layout of things. You have the dashboard icon, store, posts, media, links, pages, comments, feedbacks, polls, ratings, appearance, users, tools, and settings. Um, we're going to go through these one at a time, but the important thing is to kind of see them right here. This is where uh, you navigate everything, and if you click on any of these things, it kind of leads to these breakout menus or get these more complicated things under them. You know, here's the links, here's pages, etc. You know, all these goodies that WordPress has to offer. And you can always get back to that main screen by hitting dashboard right here. Um, also, it'll show you your statistics. This will show you the people 
who are viewing your site and you can go to a, a closer view if you hit view all and just a sort of news feed of stuff that's happening here uh, and on your other blog is that stuff that's going on. And that's about it. In the next video we're going to go over choosing a theme and designing a header. Thanks for watching. I'm Aaron Trammell and this has been part one in my WordPress tutorial series.